Hello and welcome back to Bodyweight Calisthenics Home, which is a YouTube channel dedicated to my personal calisthenics transformation, which started a month ago. I've just finished workout number 11. It's the day before New Year's Eve. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of reflections and learning points which I've received directly from comments below my videos from subscribers. Now, as you can see on here, it says 343 subscribers, which I think is incredible in just over a month's time. 343 subscribers is also 343 personal trainers. My mate Scott's got a personal trainer. He goes to the gym and he pays this guy money. I've set up a YouTube channel, largely because I'm stuck at home with a dog. It's not very well. And... Uh, I've got 343 personal trainers for free and your advice and comments below my videos is everything I need to be held to account, encouraged and educated. And education is important for me because I'm a complete beginner to calisthenics. Uh, I've, I've often done aerobics and pretty much kept myself in shape all my life, but I've never done any form of resistance training. So this is a first for me and I've learned so much. In fact, as I said in my last video, I did quite a lot of reading and learning before I started this journey, but I've learned 10 times more in the month since I started than I did in that whole period running up to getting started. It's the 30th of December, 2022, and I've written on the bottom my new catchphrase, keep on grinding, which so many of you keep telling me to do, and I believe me, I intend doing it in two days time. It's the start of the new year, and I'm going to continue with this journey throughout next year. And hopefully, all being well, and I don't see why I shouldn't, throughout the rest of my life. The first month has been a revelation. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's given me a new lease of life. One of the objectives for me to do for doing this was because I thought at the age of 55, it was all downhill from, from now on. Well, I know I'm repeating myself from previous videos. I've now got, a, I feel as if I've got a great future ahead of me. And some of the comments I've had from 55-year-olds, 60-year-olds, 61-year-olds, 67-year-olds, People in the 70s are doing calisthenics and body weight training. It's, uh, it's incredibly refreshing. Now, to get to the point of today's video, I've written a few notes down. In case you're wondering why I'm talking over here, that's my microphone on these support bands. I still need these support bands. There's no way I can do a lot of these calisthenic exercises without support bands. But things are getting better day by day. I'm definitely making progress. Now, somebody said in a video only this morning, keep a logbook. Now, it's genius really, and I can't believe I haven't thought of it. How am I going to know on a day-by-day -day basis whether I'm progressing and getting stronger? So, wisdom, genius, advice, thank you. Uh, I think it was Stephen. I'm going to go and buy a logbook, and every day I'm going to make a record of every single exercise and how many repetitions I did, what strength I did them, how many bands I needed, when I failed, and by doing that, I'll be able to chart my progress because it's that progress and that getting stronger is going to motivate me. Now, I know because because uh, of research and also from what people have said that um, if you get better in terms of the more resistance you can achieve or the more sets you can achieve before failure, it's proof that you're getting stronger and you cannot get stronger without building muscle mass. One of my objectives is to build muscle mass so I look and feel better, but also uh, because of the menopause, I want to start producing more testosterone as I reach late middle age. Um, I never thought 55 was old, but before I started this journey, believe me, I felt quite old as I was getting up in the mornings. Anyway, so there we go. I'm going to be keeping a logbook. Now, when one person says something, you think, yeah, OK, I'll take that on board. When two people say it, it kind of hits home a bit more. Well, three people have said, work on your core. It's obvious to me that I need to work on my core. I'm working on these big compound movements, dips and pull-ups and chin-ups and press-ups and, you know, horizontal pull-ups. Um, I've kind of been neglecting my core, so I'm going to put a core routine together. Now, some of the ideas I've been given in the comments are a bridging exercise, hip tilt, plank and side plank. Um... All kinds of different planks and also hanging actually and the objective of this uh, core exercise is to to improve the strength and the stability of my core so that i can restrict 
the movement in my body and focus that movement onto the, the compound pound exercises I'm doing. The other objective is to avoid injury in the core by improving the strength of my core. So tomorrow I'm going to put a core exercise routine together and I will share that with you as I do it in another video in the future. But before I make that video, I would love to hear your comments and thoughts on what core exercises I need to do. I've written down already bridging, hip tilt, plank, side planks. Hanging was another one, um, especially at the end of a routine, just hanging from the bar just to let everything stretch out and settle. And also it's going to build some strength, of course. So this is to brace and hold my spine, give me core stability and limit movement when I'm doing some of the other core uh, compound exercises and therefore limit the risk of injury. So that was the thing about core. What do you think? Also, while we're on the sub subject of core, and I know it's a slightly subtly different thing, abs. Again, I've been neglecting my ab routine. Um, in fact, if I'm really honest with you, and I will be really honest with you, I've not actually done an abs routine yet. Every other day I've been doing the routine that you're watching to my left now. But, and I, I know that's in, probably by default improving my core strength. How many of you do a separate abs routine and how often do you do it? Or do you just not bother with it at all? So I've got this idea in my head that as a kind of a strategy, I'll build up some muscle. I'll also build some abs definition underneath this layer of flab. And then when it comes to some point in the future, I've not decided on that point in time yet, I'll reduce some of the body fat and start to look a little bit more defined and a little bit more shredded. Um, and I am aware, by the way, that it's not possible to look shredded all the time. Uh, and, and it probably would be hard work and not even enjoyable. So, But I would like at some point to do one of those transformation videos where we see what I look like at the beginning, which was the 24th of November. And then I see the progression over time. So there we go. Do you do an abs routine or not? And if you do do an abs routine, what would you do? What would you include? And I've seen these Russian twists. I imagine they attack all different kinds of parts of the abs. I've also seen the leg raises and I've seen people hanging from a bar and lifting the legs up which again, hips and probably abs, I can feel it already. I can also feel it in my hands. So I don't know how long I'll be able to maintain that for. Let me know what you think about abs routines. Um, I've tweaked one of my exercises in this routine. Again, it was pointed out by another subscriber that when I'm doing my dips, if the support on the support bands is on my knees is directly below my knee, my body, it will really work. It will be tricep heavy whereas if i lean forward of the support bands and if my body is at a slight angle it will transfer some of that effort onto my pecs so in order to make it a bit more rounded holistic compound movement i'm now getting onto my support bands and then shuffling my hands forward a couple of inches so that my body is at a slight angle so that some of that effort goes from my triceps into my top left pecs there's probably a name for that area of the muscle you can tell me if you wish so there we go a little tweak right i shall finish by coming back to this workout 11 343 subscribers it's working really well this i, I i've done some personal development with other people and i know i'm a reflector so what i do is i, I do the workout i post it publish it happily you subscribe and comment which is wonderful and then I reflect on what you say. And then I go away and do some research. And then I decide what to include in my routine and, or whether I need to tweak my routine. And then I do it and I practice it. So what you're giving me in terms of a knowledge base is really helpful. All the pointers that you're giving me are really helpful. So I appreciate them. My next routine, apart from the core routine, which I'm going to develop tomorrow, which is New Year's Eve, will be on New Year's Day. I did a routine on Christmas Day. I'm going to do a routine, a workout routine on New Year's Day, and that will set the ball in motion for continuing with this throughout 2023. So you might not see a video from me apart from this one until the new year, the 1st of January 2023. And if you don't hear from me before the 1st of January 2023, I wish you all the very best. Happy New Year. Go safely and I'll see you soon.